Okay, so by now you know that, that uh, Ulsinji is a place of uh, sunrises and sunsets. It's beautiful. I'm in front of the uh, small beach. The, the last video we saw the uh, large beach with 12 kilometers length. This is a small beach. And you can see there, there is the old town. And here there is a sculpture uh, from Socialist Times. I think it's 1985, I think, from a uh, Serbian sculpture and many people believe that it resembles like a, a fighter jet but uh, of course if you go to the center you can see that there are some faces there so it's like two two people with wings two different person or many people apparently with wings are uh, very interesting and of course the sunset here probably is also amazing as you can see here very nice Okay, so I just want to show you this, this small beach or uh, Mala Plaza and you can see that the monument is very close from here you just go uh, up some stairs and well supposedly in August and uh, July this is like full of people and it's not very nice but it's just part of like massive tourism in which I'm, I'm part of probably so yeah but we're going to the uh, old town now which is there okay so in front of Mala Plaza you have this really beautiful mosque. This mosque, uh, it's, uh, it was destroyed in 1931 and then it was rebuilt in 2012. Um, the original mosque was used as a lighthouse in one point and it predated the Ottoman Empire here. So, very interesting. Okay, so I know somebody that like pirates and one of my favorite books is Don Quixote from Miguel de Cervantes. And here in Ulsing, those two things merge together. Ulsing became like a super cool place to hang out for the pirates, particularly from Malta, Tunisia and Algeria. And in that beach, the small beach that I was uh, talking about before, is where they used to have um, hang around and just have parties. They not only uh, trade slaves, but also they start to do kidnapping. And one of the persons that they kidnap was none other than Miguel de Cervantes. It is said that Miguel de Cervantes spent around five years here in Olsing as a prisoner. And also here, it used to be called in Roman Dulcingo, and the women from here Dulcinea. So it is believed that his experience here shaped a lot of uh, his book Don Quixote, particularly the main uh, female character Dulcinea del Toboso that was inspired by people here and all the experience that he lived here. And that's why there is a statue of him here. Okay, so we are outside of the museum here. Unfortunately, the museum, the ethnographic museum and the archaeological museum are closed. So they just have like some things open. But here, the interesting thing is here in this square, uh, for some it's called a uh, slavery square because basically here is where they, uh, the pirates used to sell uh, people. The way they enter into the slavery market was very weird because first they, they attacked uh, ships particularly coming from Italy and they, they were uh, taking people and some of those had money and they didn't put them to work and they just uh, took some ransoms for, from, the, from them but they saw, you know, like we can just do this slavery thing and they just went to Africa later and they started to take uh, slaves from there and basically those are uh, where some of the um, revenues that these um, pirates used to take from and here in this um, plaza you can also see this Arabic fountain that now it's more like uh, just for water uh, but it's, this is very old and you can see here a flower and a moon there. Very interesting and we're going to go out from that uh, gate. Okay, and getting out of the upper gate of the castle, you can see there the San Nicolas Cathedral. 
is a Serbian Orthodox Church. And you can see there the olives. It's very beautiful. In the POV, I will show you uh, the entrance and inside and everything. Uh, this uh, cathedral was built in 1983, and just after the Ottomans were expelled from here. But it's believed that it's uh, built um, on, on, on the area where an old monastery from the uh, 15th century was built. You can see the view that they had they still have it's just amazing so right now we are in Pasha's mosque which is actually from 1790 so it's quite old it's very elegant as you can see the POV you can see the uh, interior and the characteristic is that they have a Turkish bath or hammam of course you can identify as uh, I said before because this entrance of light yeah. so but currently I think it's not being used but I told you before out of respect I don't record on the um, mosques but this hammam basically is not in use it's in ruins and you can see I want to show you like these are the holes that I was saying before and you can see it's uh, not a very big hammam Look those things, oh my god, spiders. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, so this mosque from 1728 is the most important place to pray for uh, Muslims here, and it's called Mesa Mosque. I'm going to check inside in the POV, you can see it. Here you can see an Ottoman clock from 1754. And I just want to add for the Pasha Mosque that is uh, one of the oldest in the country and is the only one in the country that has a hammam. Okay, I want to show you the, this mosque, the Lamit Mosque, which is very characteristic because it was built in 1689, but it was heavily rebuilt in 1979 when an earthquake just struck uh, Ujin city and basically destroyed many parts, including this mosque. Of course, the POV will show you the inside and everything. And this is the last mosque that we will see, the Kipasarit Mosque. Basically, uh, it means the mosque on top of the market. You can see the minaret there. It was built in 1749. And yeah, these are the mosques here. So right now, it's a good moment to explain that Ujink is very close to Albania. Um, and here, as you know, Mother Teresa was born in North Macedonia, but uh, her blood or her ethnicity was Albanian. And basically this statue uh, was uh, built by, um, uh, by Kosovian people uh, in gratitude for during, during the Kosovo uh, wars, Montenegro received many people from uh, Kosovo. Okay, so we finish uh, waiting for the uh, sunset right now in the uh, old town or the Illyrian castle, which is actually what it is. It's an Illyrian castle in which Ro uh, Greeks, Romans, uh, Byzantines, Serbs, uh, Venetians, uh, Ottomans pass and put like a little bit of their um, structure and ideas. Uh, in, the ter in, in the earthquake of uh, 1979, it was uh, heavily affected and now it's just like um, hotels and restaurants and some houses. So I'm going to wait for the uh, sun sunset and I hope you uh, enjoy this trip.